Right guys, welcome to the channel. <clears throat> hope you're all having a blessed Sunday afternoon. Um, hope you're all doing good, whatever it is you're doing. Um, I just want to say um, we can't afford to be too nice in life. Uh, especially if you live in a poor area, do you know what I mean? <laughs> this is what I've found, do you know what I mean? Um... Because it's full of sharks, do you know what I mean? It's full of people looking to take advantage. Um, and if you're, if you're a chosen one or a child of God, it's ten times as bad. Um, God be wise to the devil's schemes, do you know what I mean? This is all I can say. Um, God use discernment, like I said in the last video. Um, yeah. Um, people often... People often take kindness for weakness, do you know what I mean? They think, uh, they think because you're kind, sometimes they think, oh yeah, we'll keep, you know what I mean, we'll keep, we'll keep trying it with them, do you know what I mean? That's what they think, do you know what I mean? Um, until you have enough of it and then, then you stand up for yourself and then they don't like it, do you know what I mean? But... Um, you have to do that sometimes. Um, you have to, do you know what I mean? You have to stand your ground sometimes because otherwise people will just run roughshod all over you. That, that, that's what I've found um, in life. Like I say, they confuse your kindness for weakness, but they don't know your story, do you know what I mean? They don't know what you've been through. They're just seeing your kindness and thinking, oh, you must be weak, do you know what I mean? But kindness ain't always weakness. Sometimes it's a strength. Because the Bible says it's more blessed to give than to receive, etc. The world doesn't believe that, but that's what God says, do you know what I mean? So, but he also says, save little by little and your money will grow. So that, that's why you want to do that as well, do you know what I mean? You have, like I say, it's all, um, it pays to sow, but it also pays to save. Um... So yeah, this is why you want to do both kind of thing, do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, you can't be too kind in life because people uh, people take kindness for weakness, do you know what I mean? And you might appear, you'll appear weak to them because you're kind, do you know what I mean? But you're not necessarily weak because they don't know your story, they don't know what you've been through, who you've been around. Um, in your background, so it's one of them. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, you can't be too nice in life, guys. You just can't. Um, this is what I found. Um, cause people run rough shadow all over you. You have to stand up for yourself sometimes. Um, you might be all right if you've made it or if you're in a posh, if you're in a nice area, do you know what I mean? Then you might be able to live a nice life and be nice, do you know what I mean? Um, and be nice to each other and stuff. But when you live in a poor area, when you live in the area I live in, you can't do that, do you know what I mean? It's a totally different world. Um, it's just totally different. Um, that's why people always want to get out of the ghetto, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Anyone from poor areas does not want to stay in a poor area, do you know what I mean? That's the whole goal, to get out of that poor area, because they know what it's like, do you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, um, that's all I can say, really. Um, And everyone wants to drag you back to that poor area, do you know what I mean? This is, uh, everyone wants to drag you down and drag you back in life, do you know what I mean? This is the way the world is, unfortunately. There's a lot of envious people out there, do you know what I mean? Um, I'm just being real, there is, do you know what I mean? People who don't want to see you succeed, uh, I want to succeed. They'll be happy to succeed off you, but they don't want to see you succeed. Well, 
can't have your cake and eat it, do you know what I mean? It's one of them. You're either on the train or you're not. <laughs> That's the way I see it. That's the way I look at things, do you know what I mean? You're either for me or you're not. If you're not, bye bye, do you know what I mean? Sooner or later anyway, do you know what I mean? Um But yeah, God God will do that himself, do you know what I mean? It's one of them. Um It's the way things work out. Separate you from the people you who aren't meant to be in your life for whatever reason. Um what he does, so sooner or later. So yeah, um But yeah, what else to say? Um I think I've said a lot. I think I said a lot of what I wanted to say, so um Yeah, true strength comes from within, do you know what I mean? I used to be really strong. I used to be I used to be as big as Tito Ortiz, do you know what I mean? I used to be able to lift like Tito Ortiz, but at one point I did, do you know what I mean? I was lifting like forty seven point fives and finding it quite easy on the hammer curl. That's strength, do you know what I mean? Not bigging myself up, but I was pretty strong, do you know what I mean? Um not as strong as like a big boy, like a fitness influencer or someone like that who's pressing 70k Joe or something like that. But compared to the average Joe, I was pretty strong, do you know what I mean? Not that strong now, obviously, do you know what I mean? Nothing like, but still still strong enough, do you know what I mean? But um But yeah, um the true but you can't rely on your own strength in life, I've found, because there's all, like someone once told me there's always someone bigger and better. So you have to rely on the Lord. Um, but there is a certain amount of uh, like uh, what's what it says in the Bible. There is some merit to physical fitness. Do you know what I mean? Basically, it does help a bit in some ways, but. But the main thing is your faith, because the Lord's going to see you through no matter what. If you've got faith, he'll see you through anything, do you know what I mean? Um, and the trials and the tribulations, being in the fire, so to speak, that's what gives you true faith, because you see the Lord sees you through it, and then it builds your confidence. And I've been in a few trials now, so... <laughs> um, I'm reasonably confident, do you know what I mean? That's all I can say. Um, plus, I'm not weak anyway, so that gives me confidence as well. Both of those things give me confidence, do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, um, but we've all got different lives to live, do you know what I mean? We're all in different situations, we're all uh got different purposes etc etc so um so yeah um i've been thinking lately though that i want to move from this area because it's too run down um I'm not really happy here to be honest. Um as much as some of the people have been good good with me and stuff, I'm not really overall that happy in this area. Um but I wasn't <laughs> I wasn't happy in the previous area either. I'd say this area has been better than the previous area, but um yeah, I wanna I think it's time to move on somewhere else now. So that's what I'm gonna be looking to do soon, I think. Um I have mentioned it in the past, but they they've not really done much about it. But this this time, um, I'm gonna really push the push the issue kind of thing, um, because I I want to move now. I've been here long enough, so yeah, um, starting to do my head in <laughs> in a nice way. So yeah, um, so yeah, that's what I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of moving. Um, Gonna speak to the people I need to speak to about it and see if I can get a move. Um, 
So yeah, um, but yeah, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, I think I've said enough. <laughs> I think I've said a fair bit. Do you know what I mean? I think I have. Um, um yeah that's it that's all i gotta say for now um thanks for watching guys as always um appreciate you all love you all keeping you all in my prayers um and i'm uh, wishing you the best so yeah um take care guys god bless much love and i'll be back soon take care guys bye